Hi everyone, this is your grade 5 social science chapter 7 globes and maps video 1. Let us learn the new words and, it, and its meanings first. Please take page number 97 in your content book children. The first new word is latitude. Latitude is nothing but an imaginary line which runs parallel to the equator. This image will show you the latitude. It is nothing but an imaginary line. Uh, which runs from west to east and also it runs parallel to the equator okay the second one is long longitude it is an imaginary line that runs from north pole to south pole this image will show you the longitude okay it runs from north pole to south pole the next new word is climate the long term weather condition of a region with respect to temperature air pressure etc The next new word is key. Key is one of the element in a map. Key is a chart that explains the meaning of each symbol on a map. The first symbol will show you a water body. The second one will show you trees. Third one is also trees. Okay. The next one is atlas. Atlas is nothing but a book of maps. This is what Atlas is. Okay, children. It is a book of maps. You have all the maps here. A political map, physical map, river map, road map, everything. The next one is hemisphere. Sphere is nothing but a circle. No? So, hemisphere is half of the circle. So, one half of the earth is called as hemisphere. The upper part is called as northern hemisphere. The lower part is called as southern hemisphere. Okay, children. The next one is axis. Axis is nothing but an imaginary line passing through an object around which it can freely turn or rotate. That uh, red color uh, pipe is there, no children. That is called as axis. So, earth is rotating on that axis. Okay. So, earth can easily turn and earth can easily rotate. The next one is primary. It is nothing but zero degree line of longitude. The center portion. Okay, which divides the earth into west and east. Equator will divide the earth into north and south. Equator is an imaginary line that divides the earth into two halves as I said. Okay. The next one. Next topic is about globe. How do we know that the earth is round? Yes. We know this through pictures of the earth taken from space. However, Hundreds of years ago, people believed that the earth was flat like this. Okay. They thought that the horizon or the point where the land and sky appear to meet was the edge of the earth. And they could fall off the edge if they reached it. It seems funny now. As we know that our earth is round in shape as a ball. Photographs of the earth taken from space proved that the earth is round. Earth is a big planet, children. It is not possible to see the entire Earth from one place. So, a globe is a small model of the Earth. By studying the globe, we can study about the location and shape of continents and countries. It helps us to know about the different oceans and seas also. From the globe, we can study the formation of day and night and changes, change of seasons on the Earth. So, from the globe, we can study the formation of day and night and change of seasons on the earth. So, children, actually, earth is rotating the sun. That is why the side which is facing the sun will be facing daytime. The opposite side will be facing nighttime. Okay. So, children, based on this video, there are few questions. Answer the following questions. First question, difference between latitude and longitude. Second one, what is an axis? Third one. Hundreds of years ago, people believed that the earth was dash. Fourth one, earth is a dash planet, small or big. The next one is draw a globe. For this, you can refer your content book page number 98 for answer. Thanks for watching the video. Keep watching.